Tesla have made a, a small change to their braking in their EVs. When you get the latest Tesla update, you're gonna notice a change. It might be a bit weird actually, but the way that your Tesla vehicle brakes when your vehicle is nearly at full charge will be significantly different to what you've experienced before, which is gonna be a bit of a, for some people were saying it's a bit of a head scratcher, but it's a good change and a good upgrade. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. With an EV right now, if you use regen braking, almost everyone does. If you have full regen in your car, especially. Now, some cars don't have full one pedal driving. This doesn't really apply to you. It's more with cars that have full one pedal driving. You'll drive it with just one pedal. You get used to it. Um, you know you're fully charging. You're getting the maximum amount of energy recharge back into your battery that you can when you brake. But here's the problem. When the battery is nearly fully charged, you can't really, the feature doesn't work properly. So essentially you'll go to brake by lifting your foot off the accelerator and that will naturally brake for you because your regen's turned on. But when your battery is nearly full, it's sort of a weird experience in an EV where um, the battery can't actually take on any more charge. So the braking is, feels different to normal. Well, Tesla have made a change so that you, well, the idea here is that you don't really notice the difference. So this update that Tesla have made means that when your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y has a charge rate above 90%, it automatically changes from regen to normal braking. So the Tesla vehicle will apply this automatically. So if your car is set to full regen braking um, and you don't realize oh, I'm you know, above 90% state of charge, well, when you lift off the brake, the Tesla vehicle will actually apply the, the actual brake pedal for you instead of applying regen, because regen normally wouldn't work, and you'd be thinking, well, I'm lifting off, this car's not stopping, this is weird. Tesla, Tesla obviously have taken some feedback from customers, and they decided, well, we don't want to give people that experience where they're used to the car braking. So you take your foot off the pedal, and normally the car would brake because you're using regen, but because now the battery is nearly fully charged, regen isn't going to work. So you take your foot off the, off the accelerator, and it doesn't break, you panic, and you gotta go, oh, shit, damn, I've got a brake, you have gotta find the brake pedal because you're not used to touching it. So Tesla vehicles now, with this new software update, they will automatically brake for you, take your foot off the accelerator, um, you know, basically the, you're expecting the car to brake and you forget that you it's not gonna happen, the car will actually use its brakes instead of regen braking. Now, apparently the process isn't perfectly smooth, but it's pretty good from the reports I've been seeing around the place. But this is one change to Tesla vehicles, one software update change that I think people think is a really a really good improvement. If you've had an experience with your Tesla vehicle where it's, you know, you've taken your foot off the accelerator, expected region to come in, but because your brake is nearly fully charged, it hasn't come in, let us know in the comments. Either way, guys, what will happen now is, like I said, full regen is on, right? You're using regen. Battery is nearly full, so it's above 90%. Take your foot off the accelerator. And if you had, you know, obviously intended to brake, the Tesla will be aware of that fact, and it will brake the car for you. Let me know if you've had any experience with this new software update. Thanks for watching.